You would think when shooting videos outside that getting the lighting right would be easy. I mean, everything is lit. It's lit. I mean, the sun is up. You can just press record and start shooting, right? Wrong. Now your shot could look like this or it could look like this. So here are five lighting tips to help you shoot better videos outside. You gotta just press record. Hey guys, my name is Nolan Molt with Think Media. Now, tip number one is to shoot in the shade. Right now, the sun is coming on. It's really, really harsh. So let's see what it looks like when we move into the shade. Now, for all of these five tips, I'm actually gonna be switching over to the Sony ZV-1 just to show you guys that you can use any camera. All these tips are going to apply. You don't need some expensive camera in order to make your lighting look really good. Now, actually just move Moving your video to the shade is such a great option for so many reasons. First of all, we get much softer lighting. So instead of standing in direct sunlight, where you're going to get really harsh light from the sun, going into the shade is actually just going to give you a much softer light, which is much more pleasing to the skin and for people. Don't worry, we are going to cover a lot more options on actually shooting in the sun. But first of all, the shade is free. A lot of us can just actually move over into the shade and our shot is going to look so much better. We don't have to squint looking into the camera like we do when we are in the direct sunlight. So for a lot of us out there shooting in the shade is the best option. Now there are a couple things you do want to consider when you are shooting in the shade. First of all, you want to see where the light is kind of coming in from. Now you think when you're in the shade that everything is just going to be nice, soft, and even, but there's still going to be dark spots because basically you're just getting a bunch of bounced light. So for me right now, having this wall right here, this is going to be a shaded area. So I don't want to put the camera next to the wall and have me be on the opposite side of that. You want to put that camera in between you and where the main light source is coming from. Even though it's shaded, we can see right here that it is much brighter on this side of the frame, whereas over here it's gonna be much darker. So that's why I am facing that brighter part of the area and that is gonna help give us much nicer lighting. Another thing to consider though is finding a shaded area where everything is shaded. For example, even if I move the camera just like this, I'm still in the shade, but you can see over here, it's completely blown out. It's pure white because it's so bright over there because the sun is hitting that, yet I'm in the shade. And so if you can find an angle or a spot where everything is shaded, you and the background included, this is going to give you a better shot where you don't have overexposed parts of the image. This just looks a lot more pleasing than having the background all blown out. Lighting setup number two is actually to have the sun to your back. Now, I know this doesn't look super good right now, so let's fix that. Now, there are just a couple things we're going to need. First of all, we're gonna need a C stand, and then we are gonna need a reflector dish, which we're gonna have all these links in the description. And then right here, I got these $1 clamps from Home Depot. This is to connect it to the stand. Now, the idea with this setup is that the sun is going to be a backlight, but that leaves this area very dark, very contrasty, and it just doesn't look too good. So with this reflector right here, we are actually going to open it up and we are gonna use this white side right here to bounce the sunlight back onto our face. And you'll see as I start to put this white bounce up into the sky like this, pointing back at me, it's starting to fill in a lot of those shadows. So we are gonna put this onto the stand so that I can shoot my video without holding this up. Now that we have the white bounce actually coming in and filling up this side of my face, the shot it looks a lot better than before. It doesn't look as dark and it's just a lot easier to see me. However, on cheaper cameras, some of the limitations you're gonna run into is dynamic range. So no matter what, if you're shooting outside, of course the sun is going to be completely blown out. Typically a lot of the sky can be blown out depending on how low the sun is in the day, but having a bounce like this, even if your camera doesn't have a lot of dynamic range, is still going to help the lighting look a lot better so that you get a better image. Now when bouncing the light, you really wanna make sure that you have it up high. If you have a below the camera, you're gonna get some weird shadows. So make sure that this is placed up above the camera. Also pro tip, don't be lazy like me. You might be able to hear how windy it is right now. Definitely throw some sandbags down because these things will fly away and uh, you don't want that to happen. For our third lighting setup, we're still gonna be using this just in a different way. And yes, I'm gonna be facing the sun like this. Right now, I'm squinting like crazy. We have a lot of harsh shadows and harsh lighting on us, but the tip here is to diffuse the light. Now, the nice thing about these reflectors is the covers typically have like a black side or gold side. They also have a white side, but underneath we have a diffusion. So we are gonna throw that up and it's gonna soften the sunlight so that it looks a lot more pleasing, almost like we're in the shade, but still we get that bright sunny look. So this is what the diffusion looks like. The sun is going to hit this. It's going to soften up, soften up all the shadows so that we hopefully get a much better looking shot. Now that I have the diffusion up, you can see the whole image is a bit darker. That's because it's actually taking away some of the sunlight. So first things first, we have to adjust the camera settings so that I am bright enough again. Now, as I brighten up the shot, yes, the background's gonna be a little bit brighter. So we are gonna have some things overexposed, but overall, I would take this image over the last one any day because this just looks so nice, so soft and diffused 
looks a lot more professional and this is a really nice setup if you want to shoot videos outside having someone actually hold up a diffusion or if you get this thing on a stand to hold itself up this is going to make your videos look so much better when you're shooting outside for this fourth lighting setup we're going to be back in the shade and one of the limitations of shooting in the shade like this is you don't have that light to bounce around or to diffuse like you do when you're shooting in the sun so my fourth tip for you guys is to actually go into the shade and then use a video light to light you up doing this can give you really cool results but you're gonna need a light that is going to be bright enough and I'm gonna be using a light from GVM which is today's sponsor and this thing is so bright it's illegal in Canada that's not true it's not illegal but it is very bright so let me pull it out and show you guys now, yes, this light is big because like I said, it is super bright. And then you're also gonna need a soft box. This is going to diffuse that light so it looks a lot better. But uh, yeah, let's set this thing up and see how it looks. Now for a light this big and this powerful, you're definitely gonna wanna use a C stand. And a tip here is when you're setting up your light, you're gonna have this leg that is bigger and higher than the rest of them. You wanna face this towards the direction that your light is facing. And this is gonna help it so it doesn't tip over. And then at the end, you do wanna throw a sandbag on top of that to keep everything down, keep everything sturdy. So I'm gonna take this big leg and I'm gonna face that right towards the chair, which is where I'm gonna be sitting. So here's the light right here. And one of the coolest things about this thing is that it's bicolor. So if you're in the daylight or if you're in the shade, you're actually gonna have different color temperatures and you can adjust that on this light to match the exact lighting for the circumstances that you're in. Now, of course, this light will just plug directly into the outlet in your wall. But a really cool thing about this is because if you're outside and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere and there's no electricity, there are two different V-mount plates on either side of this adapter. And if you put those in the V-mount batteries, you can power this thing without any electricity. So you can take this thing out in the middle of nowhere, you can go on a hike and you still have a super powerful light that you can power up just off of batteries. All right, now this is what it looks like with the GVM SD600D lighting me up right here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with it off. This is what it looks like with it off. This is what it looks like with it back on. And this thing is only at 43% brightness. This thing, I'm telling you, can get really bright. And it's by color. So just by reaching over here, I can mess with the color temperature to try and match this to the lighting that's coming in right now. You can see it gets really warm. So if you wanna match this to something like a lamp inside, then that will work well, but for us, we're gonna to wanna to keep this nice and cool. Something similar to daylight, something like this is going to look really good for an outside shot. And this is one of my favorite setups for shooting outside in the shade because you have that controlled lighting. So this is always going to be here. You don't have to worry about the sun moving and changing the lighting and all that kind of stuff with the different angles. If you just go into the shade and you have this artificial light lighting you up, you're gonna be solid and you can shoot your YouTube video without worrying about all the changes in the lighting. Now you just have to make sure that you get a light that's gonna be bright enough to actually use outside. So we're gonna have this one linked in the description. Another very bright light that's comparable to this is the Aperture 600D, but that light is actually more expensive. And so this is a nice affordable option that you can get to light your videos outside. And this thing is bicolor. So you can use this thing inside or outside. It's really versatile. All right, on to tip number five. Now for this last tip, and this is something I always consider when I'm shooting videos outside, and it's just the time of the day that you're going to shoot your video. Right now it's about 4.30 and the sun is starting to come down a little bit more. But if you actually come outside to shoot, during what we call golden hour. This is right as the sun is setting or the sun is rising, you're gonna get some much better lighting. And now the sun is setting and we're getting a much softer look. The lighting is very even and it just looks really good. And so if you wanna shoot videos at sunrise, magic hour or sunset, it's really a good time to go and shoot a YouTube video or shoot some B-roll for a video that you're making. Overall, it's just a great time of day to actually shoot some video outside.